Testosterone killers foods that might be sabotaging your health. In today's video, we're going to uncover some surprising truths about the foods you eat every day and how they might be affecting your body's hormone balance. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today we're diving into an important topic for men's health testosterone. This hormone plays a crucial role in many aspects of a man's life, from physical performance to mental well-being. Specifically, we'll be discussing common foods that can actually lower your testosterone levels. You might be surprised to find out that some of your favorite snacks and meals could be working against you. Now you might be thinking, food can affect my hormones? Yes, it's true. The food you consume can have a significant impact on your body's hormone production and balance. The answer is a resounding yes. Scientific studies have shown that certain ingredients and food types can either boost or diminish your testosterone levels. We all know that a balanced diet is crucial for overall health, but what you might not realize is that certain foods can directly impact your hormone levels, including testosterone. This means that what you eat can influence everything from your energy levels to your muscle mass. And why should you care about testosterone? Well, maintaining healthy testosterone levels is important for a whole range of things, from muscle mass and energy levels to sex drive and mood. It's not just about physical health, it's about feeling your best every day. Well, maintaining healthy testosterone levels is important for a whole range of things, from muscle mass and energy levels to sex drive and mood. High testosterone levels can help you stay motivated, focused and happy. So let's get started and learn about these testosterone killers. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of which foods to avoid and how to make smarter dietary choices to support your health and well-being. Soy friend or foe, the testosterone connection. Let's kick things off with a big one, soy. Soy has been a staple in many diets around the world for centuries, especially in Asian cuisine. It's versatile, nutritious, and can be found in a variety of forms. Soy products like tofu, tempeh, and soy milk are often touted as health foods, and for good reason. They're not only delicious, but also incredibly nutritious. They're packed with protein and other nutrients. For instance, tofu and tempeh are excellent sources of plant-based protein, making them great alternatives for those who are vegetarian or vegan. However, when it comes to testosterone, soy is a bit of a double-edged sword. This is where things get a bit more complicated. You see, soy contains compounds called phytoestrogens. These are naturally occurring compounds found in plants. Now, phytoestrogens are plant compounds that can mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. Estrogen is a hormone that plays a crucial role in the development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sexual characteristics. While that can be beneficial in some cases for men concerned about testosterone, it's something to be mindful of. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone and an anabolic steroid. Some studies suggest that high intake of soy products might contribute to a slight decrease in testosterone levels. This has led to a lot of debate and concern among men who consume soy regularly. Now, I want to emphasize that the research on this is not entirely conclusive and many factors influence testosterone levels. Factors such as age, overall diet, physical activity, and even sleep can all play a role. However, if you're consuming soy products in large amounts daily and are concerned about your testosterone levels, it might be worth talking to your doctor about adjusting your diet. Remember, balance is key. Moderation is always a good approach when it comes to diet and nutrition. Incorporating a variety of protein sources such as beans, lentils, nuts and seeds can help ensure you're getting a well-rounded intake of nutrients without over-relying on any single food source. So, is soy a friend or foe? The answer isn't black and white, it can be a healthy part of your diet, but like anything it should be consumed in moderation. Always listen to your body and consult with healthcare professionals to make the best dietary choices for your individual needs. In conclusion, soy can be both a friend and a foe, depending on how it's consumed and individual health concerns. Stay informed, stay balanced and enjoy your meals. Mint not so minty fresh for testosterone. Next up, we're talking about mint. Yes, you heard that, right? That refreshing herb you might enjoy in your tea or chewing gum could be playing a role in your testosterone levels. Specifically, we're talking about spearmint, a type of mint that's been studied for its potential effects on hormones. 
Research suggests that spearmint might have anti-androgenic properties, meaning it could interfere with the production or activity of androgens like testosterone. One study found that consuming spearmint tea twice a day for a month led to a decrease in testosterone levels in women with a hormonal disorder. While more research is needed to determine the effects in men specifically, it's something to be aware of. Licorice root. The sweet root with a bitter side for testosterone. Moving on, let's talk about licorice root. This fascinating root has been cherished for centuries, not just for its unique flavor, but also for its medicinal properties. This root is often used in traditional medicine and is known for its distinct sweet flavor. From teas to tinctures, licorice root has found its way into various remedies across different cultures. However, when it comes to testosterone, licorice root might not be so sweet. While it offers numerous health benefits, it also has a darker side that can affect hormone levels. Licorice root contains a compound called glycyrrhizin, which is responsible for its sweetness, but also for its potential effects on hormones. Glycyrrhizin is a powerful substance that can influence various bodily functions. Studies have shown that glycyrrhizin can interfere with enzymes involved in testosterone production. These enzymes play a crucial role in maintaining healthy testosterone levels in the body. In one study, men who consumed licorice candy daily for a week experienced a significant decrease in testosterone levels. This finding has raised concerns about the regular consumption of licorice products, especially for men. Now, it's important to note that this study used a concentrated form of licorice, and the effects of moderate licorice consumption might be less pronounced. However, it's always wise to be cautious and mindful of how much licorice you include in your diet. If you enjoy the taste of licorice, consider balancing it with other herbs and ingredients that support hormonal health. Moderation is key and understanding the potential impacts can help you make informed choices. So, while licorice root can be a delightful addition to your herbal repertoire, it's essential to be aware of its bittersweet relationship with testosterone. Enjoy it wisely and stay informed about its effects on your body. Chapter 4. Flaxseeds a seed of caution for testosterone flaxseeds are often praised for their health benefits, and rightfully so. They're a great source of fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, and lignans. However, those lignans, while beneficial in some ways, might have a downside when it comes to testosterone. Lignans are plant compounds that can bind to testosterone in the body. This binding can potentially lead to a decrease in the amount of free testosterone circulating in the bloodstream. Free testosterone is the biologically active form that's available to exert its effects in the body. Now, it's important to note that the research on flax seeds and testosterone is still somewhat mixed, and some studies have shown minimal effects on testosterone levels. Chapter 5 Processed Foods, a recipe for hormonal havoc. Let's shift gears now and talk about a category of foods that's notorious for its negative health effects, processed foods. Think sugary drinks, fast food, packaged snacks. These culinary culprits can wreak havoc on your hormones, including testosterone. One of the main ways processed foods impact testosterone is through their effects on insulin. These foods are typically high in refined carbohydrates and unhealthy fats, which can lead to spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Over time, consistently high insulin levels can disrupt the delicate balance of hormones in the body, including testosterone. Additionally, many processed foods are low in nutrients that are essential for hormone production, such as zinc and magnesium. Chapter 6. Alcohol cheers to good times but not to testosterone. Let's be honest, many of us enjoy a cold beer or a glass of wine from time to time. However, when it comes to testosterone, excessive alcohol consumption is a big no-no. Alcohol can interfere with testosterone production in several ways. First, it can directly damage the Leydig cells in the testes, which are responsible for producing testosterone. Second, alcohol can increase the conversion of testosterone to estrogen in the body. Third, Excessive alcohol intake can lead to liver damage, which can further disrupt hormone balance. Now, I'm not saying you need to completely abstain from alcohol, but moderation is key. Chapter 7. Trans fats, the unhealthy fats sabotaging your testosterone. Last but not least, let's talk about trans fats. These unhealthy fats are often found in processed foods, fried foods and baked goods, 
and they're notorious for their negative effects on overall health, including testosterone levels. Trans fats can increase inflammation in the body, which can damage cells and disrupt hormone production. Additionally, they can interfere with the activity of enzymes involved in testosterone synthesis. Utero your testosterone, your health. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health tips. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. Being aware of these foods and making dietary changes can support healthy testosterone levels. However, it's always best to consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian before making any major dietary changes. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.